everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now for today, we're doing a little something different. Um, actually, uh, ito pong gagawin kong vlog ay uh, requested by some of my batchmates sa aking bagong side gig. Which is, as you know, ako po ngayon ay nagtuturo for uh, Chinese students. I'm teaching English um, to mostly actually adults and teens. For some reason, bihira po ako makukuha ng children na Chinese. Um, and I'm happy na hindi naman ako nagkakaproblema sa booking. So, I guess that's where the experience also comes in, um, even as a teacher. Now, just as a background, I have been a trainer since 2006. Way back pa po, um, I was a trainer nung unang pa sa APAC. And then I've been to uh, other companies. So, the last BPO I've been with was Verizon Communications. So, I was part of their training department before I finally came sa Tupperware Brands as a sales training manager. Now, syempre sa trabaho po ng pagiging trainer or in this case being teacher uh, online um, even for call centers eh, um, I worked also as an agent for about a year and a half um, I know that ang pinakapuhunan po talaga natin sa trabaho ito ay ang ating bosses, right? Now, a lot of times, I've handled trainers also in the past and even my co-teachers dun sa 5-1 uh, talk na uh, they would sometimes say na parang nako after how many students minsan parang mapapaos na sila right so um, I'm doing this video somehow to help you um, modulate your voice I'm not a I'm not a professional uh, speech teacher or something but I'm sharing some of the things I have learned over the years um, para ati siguro makatulong din po sa inyo to help you modulate your voice and avoid having sore throat kasi alam naman natin nga, puhunan natin ng voices na to. So, let's start. So, unang-una po sa lahat, actually, I'm very thankful kay Lord kasi I never knew nang, nung ako po ay aktivista pa sa UP Diliman na magagamit ko pala yung aking mga natutunan nung ako ay aktivista. Alam mo yun, pag sumisigaw ka ng makibaka, importante po pala na malakas ang voices mo. Now, I happen to be part of uh, their musical team as a singer, so I had to learn how to breathe from the diaphragm. So, I learned na even with speaking, that also applies. Kasi alam natin before na speaking from, uh, breathing from the diaphragm usually only happens or applies to singers, right? Pero actually po, kung ang trabaho mo ay lagi kang mag magkailangan magsalita, kailangan mo lagi ng boses, um, I highly suggest that you start training yourself to breathe from your diaphragm, okay? Now, una kong ituturo, yung simpleng bagay na natutunan ko, this is not professional in any nature, okay? Pero sa akin mo, nakatulong talaga siya ng malaki, okay? Now, it's basically uh, deep breathing, but kung naaalala nyo po nung kayo ay high school or maybe grade school, di ba meron tayong inhale-exhale? So yung inhale-exhale na ginagawa natin, di pa sa ilong yon ba? We count eight, eight counts in, eight counts out, right? Now this time, I'd like you to uh, try doing this. This is deep breathing, breathing, sorry, deep breathing and using your diaphragm. Now this time you'd have to breathe from here. And then you will feel na yung air na pinasok mo, dito po siya papasok. I'm sorry, you can't see my diaphragm. But dito sa may bandang tummy, sa ilalim ng uh, chest, dito banda sa may ano natin, no? sa ibabaw ng, ng tummy natin. And you can put your, like this, okay? Like, like you can put your um, uh, hand over it, okay? And then as you breathe, what you can do is 8 counts in, 8 counts out. Now, so one of the things na ginagawa namin before sa Verizon when we do our trainings, we have what we call tipping point exercise. And one of them is deep breathing. So I'm going to share with you something uh, na ginagawa natin, namin before. And, and this is, it says, deep breathing. Proper breath ensures we receive enough oxygen to maintain our energy throughout the day. It impacts our pace and volume of speech. Deep breathing provides for relaxed listening and supports clear, easily understood language. Now, all you have to do is, of course, lips should be slightly open. Hindi siya kailangan, ha, ganun pagka humihinga ka, okay? And then make sure that your jaw is relaxed because remember, you're speaking. Imagine mo kung hindi relax yung jaw mo habang nagsasalita ka. Malamang sa hindi, after a few hours of talking, you will be so tired for sure and then all you have to do of course is take a deep breath you through your nose 
but exhale through your mouth, okay? Now, be careful not to lift your shoulders. In fact, yung shoulders mo po ang magandang indicator if you are breathing from your diaphragm or not, okay? And then your diaphragm should inflate as you breathe in and deflate as you exhale. So, mapapansin mo siya habang ginagawa mo yan, parang lumalaki ng konti. And in fact, nung ginagawa ko po ito, nun wala akong formal na training, nung ako po ay aktivista pa sa UP. Um... Ito, sabihin ko na sa inyo ha, baka sa umpisa po, feeling nyo lagi kayong kinakabag kasi nga may naiiwan na hangin dito sa may, ano nyo, sa may diaphragm. So, parang, <laughs> part yan ng ano, part po yan ng magiging changes kasi syempre, uh, it's not something you got used to doing. But eventually, you'll get used to it to a point na natural na siya. So, hindi na siya magiging, hindi ka na rin kakabagin, okay? And then, you place your hand like what I said, dun sa iyong diaphragm like this one, Okay? And then, as you breathe, you will feel the mo the movement. Now, um, what you can do, katulad na ginagawa natin ng high school, inside out lang, inhale, exhale, but again, you involve your mouth this time, not just dito. Okay, remember, as you speak, kailangan mo pa rin huminga. So, now, as we do this exercise, syempre, hindi ko po mahigagawang huminga, or mahirapan ako kung if I will have to breathe, uh, while I uh, talk while I breathe, right? So what I'll do is I'll just have a counter on the screen uh, signifying that one to, one to eight will be inhale, eight to one is exhale, okay? So let's do this. One, two, three, go. Now, did you do it? Okay, na-feel nyo po, nag-move yung chan nyo. Actually, yung chan nyo sa ibabaw ng chan nyo, yun po yung mag-move yung ano. So, that's an indicator that you're actually breathing uh, from your diaphragm. Now, again, uh, the thing is, this is the challenge you would have. During the exercise, we do it 8 counts in, 8 counts out. But of course, when you're speaking, uh, the 8 counts in, may not apply. Kasi syempre, di naman pwedeng 8 counts bago ka huminga, di ba? So, usually, what I do when I uh, have to speak, yung pag, pag kung pa sinyo ka pa nagsasalita, para kang humihigop, okay? So, usually, what I do, ito pa yung pwede rin yung gawin, para kang humihigop ng invisible na sabaw. Okay? So, all you have to do is, lahat na nung pwede mong makuhang hangin, kung maga, you get it. But, when you release it, pareho pa rin po ng exercise natin. So, 8 counts out. Okay? Now, you can do this every time you speak. Baka po kasi, um, I remember when I started out, tinry ko siya even if yung regular, ano mo lang, yung regular na usapan lang, tinatry ko siyang i-apply. Kasi, if you don't do it that way, or para may special occasion lang, bago mo siya gagawin, it'll take time bago ka masanay magsalita at matuto ka mag-modulate ang boses mo nung mas maayos. Okay? Now, this is the best tip I can give you, but I do have some more. Okay? So, ito naman po yung susunod. So, isa sa pwede mo rin gawin aside from deep breathing, and again, remember, use your diaphragm. Now, hindi lang po pang singers, even for speakers. Try mo. I know for sure it will help you. Okay? So, um, this time, I will share with you other exercises na pwede mo pa rin gawin. This time naman, ito makakatulong din ito kasi remember, every part of your, this one, you call it part of your articulators, di ba? Every time you produce a sound, um, lahat ng naandito ay involved. Your lips, your teeth, your tongue, everything, even your jaw, everything. Konting placement lang yan na mali. Ibang sound na ang lalabas. Hindi mo gamitin ng tang mo, iba ng vowel sound usually ang lalabas. So, importante that you actually master using everything that's here. So, you produce also the right sound. And in fact, mas magiging clear din yung sasabihin mo if you uh, use it properly. Okay? So, let's try this. Okay? So, babasahin ko muna po sa inyo yung instructions nung ilang exercise na isi-share ko sa inyo. Una, would be what we call, and I know it's gonna be a little bit funny, tongue exercises, okay? Now, the tongue exercises addresses the tongue's importance to articulation. Which, kasi remember, the tongue can also be a primary source of tension. Pag hindi mo ginalaw yung tongue mo, for example, sa letter L, di ba pag gumawa ka ng sound ng letter L? La, 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 right? You have to move your tongue. So, kung tense yung Tang mo, definitely, hindi ka makakalabas ng letter L na maayos. Okay? So, all you have to do, ito po. 
smile and open your mouth to a width of two fingers. Okay? So, pwede mga, uh, ano? Ganyan. Okay? So, parang ngiti ka. Ganyan. Okay? Now, and then, uh, you stretch your tongue in and out as far as it will go. Move it from side to side. And then do this several times. Then release the stretch. Okay? Then, next is move the tongue in and out. So, unahin muna natin yung isa. So, move it from side to side. So, ganito. Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. Okay, apat lang ha. Pwede nyo na gawin sa sarili nyo. And then the next one is move your tongue in and out of the mouth. So, ah, 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 ah. Funny, di ba? Pero okay lang yan. Basta you will sound a lot better. So, you will see that uh, you keep the tension firm right down to the tip. So, uh, makikita mo naman, mafe-feel mo naman yun. Now, hold out your tongue as far as possible and then touch first the top lip and then the bottom. So, ito naman parang up and down. So, ina-exercise mo talaga yung tongue mo. Okay? And then you do this several times. So, ito. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, di ko po ma-stretch na maayos kasi nasasalita din ako, no? Now, you have to keep your jaw relaxed. Hindi siya dapat tense, okay? And the mouth open the width of two fingers. Now, move the tongue behind the top of uh, the top teeth then the bottom, sa loob naman mo siya pagagalawin. Then move it into the cheek from one side to another. Then repeat the action with more speed. Okay, so ganito. Hindi ko lang kung makikita niyo yung tang, pero nandun siya sa likod ng, ng ngipin ko. Eh? Ah? Eh? Ah? Okay, tapos sa side ng cheek. Ah? 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 Okay. Diba? Medyo weird tura. But anyway, then you make an L sound as in lily. Then L sound as in wall. So, lily, wall. Lily, wall. Okay. Then, you move between two sounds quickly to give the tongue more spring. This action activates the back of the tongue as well as the tip. So, Pag nagagalaw mo siya ng mas ma... Kumbaga parang mas relax na siya eh. Mari relax yung tongue mo. Now remember, the tongue is important to produce the right sound. Otherwise, minsan yan yung common pag ano, napapansin ko kapag nagiging instead of a letter L, letter, letter R yung lumalabas, usually uh, hindi nagagamit ng maayos yung tongue. Okay? So yun. Okay, now next, meron pa akong ibang exercises na pwede i-share sa inyo. Uh, ito naman, medyo <laughs> weird yung pangalan niya. Inga. Okay, inga. Now, this exercise allow you to hear the sounds created in both the head and the chest. Okay, it helps reduce nasality qualities and uh, create greater vocal confidence. Now, all you have to do is press your fingers to the side of the nostril. So, dito. And say, ing. Okay? Tapos, you release the fingers and you say, ga. Para siyang, actually, para siyang pa, super powers. Okay? So, ing, ga. Ing, ga. Okay? Ganun lang siya. Okay? So, bakit mo siya ginagawa? Kasi di ba minsan medyo nasal yung nagiging boses natin. So, you do it several times. Um... Ano siya, parang exercise, you do it every day or maybe pagka free ka, para lang, ano siya, parang exercise nga, usual exercise siya, okay? Next would be, ito naman yung ta, da, na, la exercise. Now, this exercise strengthens the ability to create vocal balance. It improves word endings and sharpen words for interest and clarity. So, usually, ito naman yung sa mga consonant sounds. Lalo na yung mga ending sounds, di ba? Minsan hindi natin narinig masyari yung mga T, D, N, or L sa dulo. So, it's important na clear yan kasi otherwise, baka ibang word ang maririnig sa inyo ng ibang tao. For example, so how do you do it? You just drop the jaw and focus the lips a little forward. Okay? And you just slowly say, ta, da, na, la several times. So, ta, da, na, la. 
ta, da, na, la. So ulit-ulitin mo lang siya para masanay kang sabihin niya. Now remember, kailangan po lahat ng, lalo na yung vowel sound, ay no, yung consonant sounds, kailangan maging malinaw siya. Kasi usually it's the ending sound, minsan na hindi malinaw sa ginagawa. Like for example, if you say, uh, movement. So minsan pwedeng yung T doon, movement. Diba? So pag hindi masyadong malinaw yung, yung consonant sound at the end, you will end up not being so clear with your uh, speech. Okay? Now, another um, exercise. We call this, ito naman maganda. Ito yung mi, my, ma, mo, mo. Mi, my, ma, mo, mo. Okay? And this one, this sound is created as the soft palate lowers and allows air to escape through the nose. So the M takes on the quality in qualities in the vowel as the sound bounces off the wall of the head. Like me, okay, may, ma, mo, and then the stomach mu. Okay, so pag gigagawin mo lang, you just uh, the jaw should uh, remain unclenched and released. And then the teeth are uh, parted, so that kasi dun lalabas yung ano yung hangin. And then you just chant, me 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 me. So parang ulit ulit parang kumakata. Me 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 ma 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 mo 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 mo. So ulit ulit mo lang siya. Um, uh, importante na ano, um, uh, alin clarity din to na magagawa sa inyo eh, pag nagsalita kayo, lalo na sa mga vowel sounds ninyo. Um, if you have problems with your vowel sounds, this would really, really help. Uh, para na-exercise yung inyong jaw into saying the right, um, vowel sound, okay? Now, next time, next one. Ito, lalo na kung ikaw po ay... Uh, matagal na magsasalita. For example, ilang oras kang kailangan isalang, ba kung call center agent ka, uh, and you have an 8-hour shift. Alam ko may breaks naman siya, pero misang say you don't have enough time to really have a break, ba? So, importante na kung magabago ka sumabak sa gera, you are prepared. Now, we call this the bubblegum chew. Bubblegum chew. Now, this exercise uses all of the vocal exercises and is an excellent one to use when there is little time to prepare. When a difficult word or phrase is preceded with this exercise, the word easily or immediately becomes easier to pronounce. Now, maganda tong gawin, for example, yung mga, di ba minsan, um, yung mga um, floors taman natin if you're in a, a call center agent, Usually, may elevator ka pa. So, maybe while you're in the elevator, you can actually do this na. Or, uh, on your way, hindi ba, nasa biyahe ka, pwede mo ganun. By the term itself, bubblegum, so, para kang ngumunguya ng bubblegum. But, how does it work? So, first, lips are relaxed and pushed forward as in the fish kiss. So, yung fish kiss kasi parang, kagano siya, para siyang, parang muso ng uh, isda. Okay? Then, you begin to hum na while making a chewing motion. So, Kung baga parang kumingit, umumuya ka ng bubblegum pero mayroong sound. Hmm, ganon, okay? And then you slowly say each sound of the alphabet. You keep uh, keep the lips uh, pushed or focused forward. And then uh, pwede mo din gawin to for each word in a phrase. Kung ba mayroon ka namang, gusto mo mga phrases naman yung gagawin mo. So parang, kunyari, usually pwede mo itong gawin from A to Z. So, hmm, A. Mm, B mm, C So ulit-ulitin mo siya until the letter C, Z Okay? Now this is a good Kaya nga minsan yung iba sinasabi nila Magandang exercise din yung iba They resort to chewing Ano talaga? Yung real talaga na nagchuchu ng gum Kasi nagagalaw mo to eh Okay? So na-exercise din yan Akala mo lang walang nangyayari Pero actually meron yang Meron yang Help Okay? Now next um, this one naman is the TH breathing. TH breathing. Now, this addresses the tongue's importance to articulation. So, kat ka mag-anak, actually, ito nung tongue exercises natin. And um, it addresses, again, sabi ko nga, the tongue's importance to articulation. So, all you have to do is relax the tongue. And with the jaw open, slowly make a TH sound. So, do this several times. Actually, madali lang talaga itong gawin. Parang TH. 
th. Kasi kailangan po, remember, to produce the th sound, you need to move your uh, tongue. It actually, you parang irab mo siya ng konti dun sa ngipin mo, di ba? Th. You see, the tongue is sticking out a little bit. So, th. Th. Okay, so if you have a TH problem, this is actually a good exercise for you to try out, okay? Ayan, so yun. Meron pa ako ibang exercises pala na ibibigay sa inyo. And this is, uh, isa pa is what we call the motorboat, okay? The motorboat, uh, sabi dito, creating the motorboat releases tension held in the mouth. Um, it helps support speaking clear consonants. So, all you have to do is blow through the lips while adding sound. This is the same sound and, and action as when a mother blows on a baby's tummy to make them giggle. If this exercise is difficult, it is because there is tension in the lip area. Now, you may need to give the lower lip a kickstart with your finger to begin the exercise. Actually, yung motorboat, imagine mo na lang, para kang nagmumotor, gamit, yung motor, so sound ng motor, uh, as in, as in motosiklo, ganyan, using your lips. So, di ba pagka yun yung nakikipaglaro ka sa mga bata? Now, that buzzing sound actually helps you uh, yung sa lips mo. Sometimes, this is also done by some singers uh, para ano yung tension mawala sa dito sa ano nila sa may lips. So, that will also help you. So, you call that motor motorboat. Okay, so, and you will see, ma feel mo nagbuzz yung ano mo, yung lips mo. Okay? Next, you also have what we call the T, S, and Z exercise. Now, this exercise eliminates whistling sounds and strengthens clarity and confidence. Now, all you have to do is relax the jaw. La kung mapasin yung lahat to, relax the jaw lagi, di ba? Kasi nga, you can't speak naman na parang tense na tense yung jaw mo. It has to always be relaxed. So, relax the jaw and mouth. Then slow, uh, slowly say these, okay? One first is t t t t t and then yung s naman c c s o, and then z z z o. So parang pinago mo lang yung first uh, consonant sound, which is t s and z. So kung nagkakaroon ka ng problema with these sounds, this would really help a lot if you try practicing this exercise. So you say, and you say it several times, yo. T T T C C S O Z Z Z O and then you can do it again T T T C C S O Z Z Z O so ulit ulit mo lang siya lalo na kung may problema ka sa S and Z and even the T sound okay this is a good exercise for you to try out next one we have here what we call the uh, fish kiss, okay? The fish kiss uh, is an exercise that reduces vocal tightness by creating a full round sound. It also strengthens the lips and gives a forward focus into the mouthpiece and the customer. So, kung may kausap ka, bawa naka-headphones ka, diba? Mas nagiging uh, maganda yung labas nung sound uh, doon sa mouthpiece mo. Okay? So, again, relax the jaw. Open your mouth Again, with the width of two fingers. Okay? And then focus the lips forward. Breathe in. And on the exhale, you say, Uwe. Okay? So, para siyang, kamay niya ka. Uwe. Uwe. Okay? So, para kang fish kiss nga. U. Uwe. Uwe. Okay? I know, I look funny. Pero trust me, it will really help you if you try doing this exercise. Now, you don't have to do all of these things ng sabay-sabay, like sunod-sunod, no? Pero, depende kung gano'n ka siguro kakaseryoso na makatulong sa'yo na you speak clear and you're able to also um, uh, preserve your voice. Um, ang pinaka-importante sa so far sa lahat ng sinero po sa inyo is yung deep breathing, yung using your diaphragm. That would really, really help you a lot. Kung ang kumunan mo sa trabaho ito ay... Um, bosses mo. Okay? Sa so kahit anong mang larangan ng trabaho mo na kailangan mong magsalita, it's important that you really make use of your instrument very well. Okay? Now, um, the other exercise na pwede makatulong po sa inyo, I will share it in a different video. So, I hope that you learned something for today. 
Thank you very much. And if you have any requests on specific topics you'd like me to cover, this may be for, um, it can be a faith um, concern, your family, uh, maybe uh, business. I'm willing to help you out. I can, and I can do something and research and talk about it. And maybe as an English teacher online or maybe a training concern, um, or uh, music, hindi eh, man po ako singer na professional, pero I sing also. So, yun lang po. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you learned a lot. And do give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, I, please hit the subscribe button down below. And um, if you have any topics in mind, feel free to message me. Uh, leave a comment and I hope you learned a lot from me. And sabihin nyo rin po sa akin if what I shared with you actually helped you out. So with that, maraming salamat and God bless us all. Bye!